Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites and our lessons from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast, written by Ayd Abdullah Al-Qarni, which can be downloaded from kalamullah.com. Let's read. Page 115, Lesson 24, Concerns of the Islamic Scholar During the Month of Ramadan. Allah Almighty declares in the Quran, Verily, O you who believe in me, this community of yours is one single community, since I am the sustainer of you all, worship then me alone. Quran 21 verse 92. He further explains, All believers are but brethren. Quran 49 verse 10. As for the Prophet, peace be upon him, he clarified the nature of the relationship between Muslims in this famous hadith. The examples of the Muslims in their love and mercy for each other, is like the body. If one part is afflicted, all the other parts rally to its aid with fever and sleeplessness. Today, Muslims pass this month of Ramadan in transgression and crisis. Capitalism is rife with greed. It directs its hostility against the Islamic world with intellectual onslaughts. The foremost means toward this is through women, wine, and other enticements, distractions, luxuries, and unlawful amusements. Secularism calls for the separation between the religion and worldly affairs. It seeks to oust Islam from life's stage on the pretext that religion distinguishes between people. In effect, secularism is an atheist ideology that disregards all religions and therefore excludes Islam in its entirety from playing any role in human life. Freemasonry, the Jewish creation, has come to destroy religions, including Islam. On the surface, it appears to be calling for the unity of all people. It has its own means, taboos, emblems and cliques. It operates in secret, has worldwide influence and springs from Zionist origins. Hence, today the Islamic nation suffers from intense wounds. Palestine has been stolen from it. Al-Aqsa Mosque remains a hostage while old men, women and children are slaughtered morning and evening. Yet Palestine will never be returned to the Muslim lands except by an Islam with the rage of Umar ibn al-Khattab, the boldness of Salah al-Din and the sincerity of Ibn Taymiyyah. The Muslim woman is fought against because of her covering, modesty purity and religion. Our young men are seduced by destructive means, satanic enticements and sensual delights. Evangelism is penetrating the Islamic world from all four directions. Divisions and schisms are widespread among Muslims, except those whom Allah has shielded. In the circumstances, what is required is that the Muslim should live for these great issues with his sentiments, wealth and prayers. He should strive to increase awareness among his Muslim brothers of these dangers. The Muslim should work relentlessly to bring about unity within the ranks of his own community. More importantly, the Islamic nation must avoid disputes and internal wrangling that only cause failure, particularly when the news of these calamities which afflict the Islamic world are exposed and become the issues of the day. As a result, no Muslim should despise himself because in every Muslim there is good. Indeed, every Muslim is expected to struggle if he or she is able and to stop making excuses. They must strive with their persons and their wealth. If not with their wealth and the support of others who spend of their wealth to advance the cause of Islam, they should, at the end of each prayer, in the early hours of the morning, and other times when prayers are answered, implore Allah to establish and grant victory to the Muslims. We must, moreover, all call upon Allah to increase us in piety and God-consciousness because the disasters and calamities that have befallen us are all on account of our sins and shortcomings. And do you, now that a calamity has befallen you after you had inflicted twice as much on your foes, 
Ask yourselves, how has this come about? Say, it has come from your own selves. Quran 3 verse 165 In the past, the Islamic nation was accustomed to victories and conquests in Ramadan. But after, it reneged on its mission and became engrossed in worldly delights. Ramadan became in recent years a time of anxiety, sadness, killing, dispersal and genocide. Of course, if we return to Allah, we shall be victorious. O you who have attained to faith, if you help the cause of God, he will help you and will make firm your steps. Quran 47 verse 7 No succor can come from any save God, the Almighty, the truly wise. Quran 3 verse 126 If God succors you, none can ever overcome you. Quran 3 verse 160 Allah, we implore of you the help that you have promised us. O our Lord, plant our feet firmly and grant us victory over the unbelieving people. That was the end of today's lesson. Please do join us for tomorrow's lesson, inshallah. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.